One Royal Crescent is a Georgian house museum administered by Bath Preservation Trust. It was the first house to be built in the Crescent, which was the masterpiece of architect John Wood the Younger, and it was started in 1767. And the Crescent was the first Crescent of terraced houses to be built anywhere in Europe. Although the building has been decorated and furnished to show how life would have been like in an elegant Bath townhouse in the 18th century, it didn't originally reflect the um, 18th century layout of the house because in the early 20th century the block containing the original service quarters with the kitchen, scullery and gentleman's retreat had been sold off as a private dwelling. With the help of the Heritage Lottery Fund and uh, the Brown Sword Charitable Foundation we were able to acquire the house and to set about the task of restoration. Well we were approached by the museum to look for designs of the Georgian period. In all actually three designs were chosen, uh, one for the bedroom, one for the gentleman's parlour and we also did the staircase. One of the things the project allowed us to do was to consider how the house would have originally been furnished in the lifetime of its first occupant, Mr Henry Sanford of Castlereagh in Ireland. We had access to some of the original sales particulars of the time that detailed some of the objects that were sold from the house sale after he died and we knew from this that uh, the house had been furnished with a selection of fine carpets including Turkey, Brussels and Scotch carpets. Victoria visited the archive and then we looked at all the designs that were available for that period which were at quite a considerable amount so to narrow it down to a few was a very difficult thing to do. That was why the historic archive at Brinton's proved so invaluable for us because we were able to um, see some wonderful, um, vibrant designs that were authentic for the period um, and also from our perspective um, had not actually been reproduced in over 200 years so we were able to choose something that was really authentic um, and appropriate for us. So the designs that were chosen were of the period and would have been used in homes of this sort. We're really delighted with the end results which are entirely appropriate for the design of the house and for the period um, and our visitors are always absolutely fascinated to see uh, that um, the Georgians also had a type of fitted carpet called, called close carpeting which ran straight into the skirtings. Um, this is something they weren't normally expecting to see and it's always a talking point. <laughs>